Module 3 covers Chapter 7 to 10. We will begin with Chapter 7, which covers ratio. So, uh, Chapter 7, Lesson 1, is finding ratios. So, this is a new topic that's introduced to the kids. Uh, so, the logic behind ratio is it's separated by a colon. Okay, so if it says the ratio of A to B, the ratio of A to B, that's equal to A to B. Okay, so we start with simple ratios. Uh, as the lessons go through, we'll get into the more complicated ratios. Okay, so starting with pages 121 to 122, We'll take two problems. Okay, so starting with number three, it says there are 15 liters of water in a tank and 8 liters of water in a pail. The questions are the ratio of the amount of water in the tank to the water in the pail is so in this case water in the tank is 15 liters to water in the pail which is 8 liters so the ratio of water in the tank to water in the pail is 15 is to 8 okay so a succeeding question says the ratio of the amount of water in the pail to the amount of water in the tank so that means it's the other way around. So that means pail is 8 and tank is 15. So both of these represent ratios. But the order of the ratio matters to how it's stated. So another example is 4A. So in 4A, the questions are total would be 7 units. Okay, so that means this has 2 and this has 5. So together, that's 7. Okay, then the question that follows is what is the ratio of A to B? So the ratio of A, which is 2, to B, which is 5. Further, it says what's the ratio of A to the total. Since we know the total is 7 units, the ratio of A, which is 2, to the total, which is 7. So, the answer would be 2 is to 7. Okay, and finally, the last question says the ratio of the total to B. The total being 7 units and B being 5 units. Therefore, the ratio of the total to B would be 7 is to 5. That concludes lesson 1 of chapter 7. See you in the next lesson.